Far Changing Tides is a unique vehicular-based exploration, a post-apocalyptic video game. Reminds me of those uh, scenic sort of video games where you'd just be traveling and you'd be along for the journey. Essentially, because it's an atmospheric vehicle adventure game that allows you to follow an emotional journey of a boy in his ship, as he embarks on a voyage to find a new home, this is full of hope, optimism, puzzles, mystery, and really quite surprised me. It's rather warming. The soundtracks are fantastic. Just the way the game feels and how it plays and handles is just utterly remarkable. Now, it is similar to a previous game that this game studio did develop, that being Octomotive, uh, and the publisher is Frontier Developments, uh, using uh, Unity. But it's an adventure action uh, game that really sort of puts into perspective how unique video games can be. And my best advice is also to play Lone Sales first, because that game is a direct tie into a franchise. But having not played the previous title, I was presently surprised to see just how atmospheric this game is. One is really caught up in playing the impassioned and protagonist in one's subject narrative of yourself, and it's really quite interesting. Giving a vast and decrepit world through rough sailing, it also gives a sea of solitude sort of vibes. And some might call it boring, but it definitely is an exploration game focusing on that. It's a traveling game, it's something that occupies your mind and allows you to pass the time. With well, the addition of the puzzles makes you think a little bit, there are sometimes correct timings to things, and other times you just gotta push a lever. And the game just slowly, but slowly, unravels itself as you unpack a story. It doesn't have overriding text, it doesn't have any sort of fancy graphics or cutscenes that would really be reminiscent of a, of a AAA game. But it is a vehicular-based adventure game which certainly has unique elements in most regards. And expanding on the desolate areas seen in Far Lone Sails, Chaining Tides swaps sun-scorched, dusty plains for high seas with new environments and puzzles and ship mechanics. The aim of you is to pilot your ship and get away and just sort of travel around the world. Again, a very atmospheric game with changing environments and certainly a lot to sort of give you uh, a, a bit of breathing space and, and leave you thinking. While it is a time management and strategy sim at the same time, you want to watch out because sometimes you will run out of supplies and you'll have to bring up the old Mark 1 sales every now and then. From my playthrough thus far, it's an excellent art direction that builds a bleak, vibrant, post-apocalyptic setting. It is a spot-on soundtrack that moves with your gameplay at crucial moments and is the right way in consistency and feel. It's got a good variety of gameplay elements for the, for the most like relaxing slash chilled out adventure uh, game that I've played. The story is interesting, but never truly exciting at any point. And the piloting and management in this game could be something to be a little more desired for, but free exploration while possible in some segments proves uninteresting uh, as time goes on. My total gameplay period is about eight hours to complete the whole entire game and explore all the areas accurately and get all the supplies I could find. But generally, I've been taking it slow and generally just enjoying the slow nature of the game. Given the linear nature of the adventure, there was no replay value whatsoever once finished. So it is what it is and it's not a bad game. There is a beauty in the sublime comfort of traversing a broken world in your little mobile home. It's exactly what the predecessor Lone Sales boasted. And while the first game certainly had a little more momentum and, and purpose to the speed of the game, this game sort of leaves you wondering what next. There is no real urgency and sense of dread in a beautiful dystopian world. The graphics are fantastic, the sound design is absolutely masterful, and there is no real uh, threat from the environment that you're playing in. But for what it is, it's an excellent class in just storytelling and gameplay adventure. And I really, really have enjoyed this game so much. There's something peaceful and relaxing about coming out of a storm and just knowing that there is an uncertain future ahead of you. And while the gameplay isn't exactly the best, it certainly is a game that I highly recommend. Catch you next time.